Hi, this is group 421. Hi, my name is Brooks Queen, and during class we uh, did the direct labor method where you, can, where you count up the direct materials and direct labor and overhead applied, and you add them up to find out the total unit costs, 135 for product X and 105 for product Y. And then outside of class, we use the activity-based costing method, which is where you divide total overhead assigned by total units. And for product X, the total unit cost was 158.25, and for product Y, it was 48.35. As you can see, there's a large difference between the direct labor method and the activity-based costing method. Hey, I'm Morgan Steed, and so in direct labor, they were using the overhead as a more significant component of the product's cost instead of um, dividing it out into more specific cost. And um, companies were making more diverse products, and they were consuming the resources very differently. So the variation in the consumption of overhead couldn't be explained by just simple variations in direct labor. Hi, I'm Ben McCurry. So in order to find our ABC costs, we had to take our expected activities and multiply them by our rates, which are located right here. Each rate either applies to a unit cost batch facility costs, which are shown right here. You multiply them by the expected activity number to give you your amount, which adds up to each of your expected overhead for totals down for product X and product Y at the bottom and divide these numbers by your total units in order to find your total unit cost for ABC. Hey, uh, I'm David Pucci. Uh, some of the advantages or benefits of the ABC it, uh, it allows you to make better day-to-day -day decisions and makes opportunities for continuous improvement. And uh, because of that, there's better control through identification of costs. And then um, in the end, you end up having more accurate, like your accuracy of your costs increases and it allows you to just overall make better decisions and understand what you're doing better. Hi, I'm Morgan Myers, and some of the limitations of activity-based costs are um, high measurement costs, time consuming with multiple activity pools and cost drivers, and the market dictates prices, so activity-based cost implementation costs may exceed the expected benefits of more accurate data. I think that was really cool. My name is Ben Maslin. Um, Activity-based costing can be used by any organization that wants a better understanding of the cost of the goods and services it provides, including manufacturing, service, and even nonprofit organizations. Our company can benefit from ABC um, because of cost distortions, diverse and complex products, higher percent of overhead, and non-unit level costs.